hello beautiful people how you are doing good day to you welcome back to another video on my channel thank you so much for joining me this video is a rebroadcast of a video i did live on facebook and i felt like there's no need you know coming back on youtube and doing the same uh, video in the same topic again i feel like you know you will gain a lot of insight in wa watching that live broadcast again here on youtube and uh, hopefully in this week i'm gonna come back again full time to you know do live videos and also upload videos so this is my plan going forward in this week i'm very sorry that i've not been keeping up with you guys so i hope you like the video let me know what you think put your comment in the comment section and yeah please bear with me guys i'm very sorry thank you so much and very important don't forget to subscribe and also like and share the video write your thoughts in the comment section and i'll see you very soon live this week on wednesday bye for now bye now i greet every one of you that is joining me today as we are going into the new kingdom that is no longer biafra but idu uh -huh. so for some reason they can't be Igbo. There's nothing good about Igbo. You know, their leader said the word Igbo is cursed. That anything that is called Igbo is already dead. Have you seen anything? He said it all. He said it. I, you know, I played the audio for you guys. He said that anything that they call Igbo, there's no success in it. If they come together, they will be praying for cola. No, they will be quarrel. Ah, there's nothing you know, that is a cause. It's just, a, you know. So, because of that, for some reason, they cannot be able. They have to escape this identity. You understand me? So, me, my, myself, like many of us from the Southeast, like I've said this thing before, we all were born into this lie that Biafra, you know, is something for our freedom, is something for, you know, it's our true identity, is something we have to fight for. Nigeria is not for us. Biafra is our own. In Biafra lies our freedom. In Biafra, uh, Africa we rise again, you know, all this kind of a thing. So, I began to um, do some research about it. And what actually led me to do more research about it, I mean, you know, there are a lot of things that will be pointing your mind to this thing or that thing but eventually you know somehow everything will come together for example you know how can you be going to war and you don't have weapons to fight the war and somehow you are cajoled and being told that you are brave and the story is told about our fathers who fought with bare hand who are so brave the bravery but when you look at it factually you see that this is stupidity this is suicide mission how do you go to war with sticks how do you match young men and women and children sending, sending them to certain death with sticks like even even if you are going to fight let it be that at least you have something to contend with that force how do you want to go and engage a superior firepower with sticks and just you know your emotion just because you are pumped up just because you 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 know you are ready for it you want to go for it <laughs> Pass it, you know, Anya, Anya and I are seeing here. Like, sometimes, even, you know, they use all these videos to show you sometimes. M maybe somebody come and say to the boyfriend or to the father and say, hey, so, 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 person, find me trouble. And the father will say, I will deal with that person. So, who is that? Take, it to, take me to that person. And then they come to that place. Ah, the man will just see something like a soldier, or maybe somebody that is a giant. Ah, he say, hey, you know, they, they start, you know, acting drama. Say, ah, sorry, sir, hey, I just come to check something. You know, this is tactical, you know, deflection. You know, deflecting that escalation so that because you know you can't contend with whoever you know this big person this powerful person you know maybe this uh, person who has a high position at least you should be able to know what you are going into that is the first thing you know then you see children you see children and then you realize that you know it was not like they all wanted to be in that war front but because they were caught and forced to be there and, and then you you are asking yourself okay what is happening and then you are looking at videos and and you know testimonies of to those people who were there and you hear the obstinacy of this man that led them into 
into this war and you know and then you you you, you, you want to go a little bit further because there was a brother that did a video and you know in that video he went to the vatican and he was showing the ancient map map and he that ancient map there was biafra there you know that was really clear there was biafra there so you know i i, I did a video about it i was like wow so biafra existed you know so it was on the map so you know you have to do you know because sometimes you know when you see it's not enough that you saw it on a map you have to go for that ask okay where was it where's the location you know who were the people who were the kings what was their language what was it like you know you try to go back to the history because in that map you will see biafra was down here and um Zamfara was up here, and so you see that parallel and Bini Kingdom. The Bini Kingdom was a, a little bit to the to this side, you know, to to the west of that map. And so you are looking at a very, 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 very old map here. Eh? Uh, um, and uh, at that time, there was no Nigeria. You know, it was just. Uh, um, I don't know where the map came from, but it's an old map, and it's there. Evidently, you can see. Biafra, you can see Zamfara. It's not Biafra, so now uh, instead it's Biafara, Biafara, Zamfara. So you know, I was looking at it and I'm trying to figure out what does Fara mean, what does Biafara, Zamfara. So what could it mean in that time, you know? Uh, and if you look at Zamfara, Zamfara is um, blessed with so much resources. So much gold, so much uh, um, sapphire, precious stones. Like, do you know that the gold in Zafara is more than the gold in, in South Africa? Think about that for a moment. The gold in Zafara is more than the gold in South Africa for which they went there and did apartheid. That amount of gold that they went to enslave the whole of South Africa to take over that country, try to do everything, that uh, the amount of gold and precious stone and minerals that is in Zamfara is more than what is in South Africa. Wow. You know, when I came to this one, I was like, wow, what is, you know, what is the parallel? Could it mean that Farah means maybe uh, uh, rich in resources? Because when you're looking above here and looking at it for today, you see, okay, the parallels, you know, okay, the, these places are very rich in minerals, very rich, you know, but the difference is that Zafara has an actual history, has actual history of a people, of a language, the history of of their kings are there uh, how they ruled uh, you know the, the their times the years and even you know how they were conquered and overtaken by damatru you know because um, the damatru empire came later overthrew the zafara, the zafara empire when you come down to the biafara um history that is nothing you know you don't find any history you don't know who these people were you don't have any record of who their kings was you don't know anything about maybe what was their language you don't have any particular spot where you would say this was the location where it happened you know so i'm beginning to think about it so okay uh, apart from this uh, you know, map. Let's come back to it. Let's bring it back to 1960 when it was evident that, that this region, this region was called Biafra. And then you realize that even in this region that we are calling Biafra at the time, it was actually in dispute because the other people who first of all declared Niger Delta Republic, the people who first of all declared Niger Delta Republic, they were not part of Biafra, you know, but they were forced into Ojuku's Biafra. Because a year before Ojuku's Biafra, they declared Niger Delta Republic. They were the first to declare a new republic outside of Nigeria. They wanted outside of Nigeria because the Igbos were marginalizing them or they felt marginalized by the Igbos. They felt there was nothing for them in the then Eastern region. They wanted out because they felt those people who were the, more in the leadership of the old Eastern region, you know, take all the resources for themselves, just like you would, you know, insinuate in the larger Nigeria of today. So, and I was like, wow, I didn't know this. Honestly, I didn't know this. I thought everybody was on the same page and they said, oh, there was a meeting and everybody agreed and this name was suggested, you know. 
like you, you know you can see that if if i declare for biafra republic and uh, you came down with uh, federal troops and dealt with me and uh, you know sentenced me to that uh, and a lot of my men and women were uh, you know finished kill and all those kind of thing and later on a year later you are now declaring a new republic on the same basis on the same basis of which i declare that Nigeria the third republic and you are now adding me into that ninja into the new one like you did not accept you did not uh, accept that i should have Nigeria the third republic you 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 like you know what kind of thing is this territorial integrity that kind of thing you came down hard finish that one castle nothing like that republic you know and i was thinking okay what if they said niger delta republic oh okay no problem uh, from where to where do you want the niger delta republic oh you can go no problem okay we'll let you have this republic you know and then you can make a case that okay when they declare biafra a year later that it will be a walkthrough because there was already an example of how it was done with niger delta but you know it didn't happen with Niger Delta, so why is it going to happen that they are not going to come and fight for Bia uh, against Biafra? Yeah, and how do you uh, want people who you just not even up to here, people who you just condemn to death, people who you just finish because they declare Niger Delta Republic? How do you explain it that you put them in your new country? Of course, they are not. They are not with you. They are not with you. So there's no need for you to be saying they betray us. They betray. Us. They were not with you in the first instance, you know, like, you know, and, I re I'm, and I'm looking at these things and I, I, I realize, you know, the history of Nigeria, you know, take it back a little bit. And then you look at everything about this Biafra, you see that it was just pumped up something about ego because uh, there was nothing also about Igbo people particularly there. There was nothing about Igbo language, you know, it's not like you want to go to uh, create an Igbo dominated um country where you'll be speaking Igbo for example you know where you'll be uh, using Igbo tenets Igbo values <laughs> Igbo system no uh, it's not like you are creating a system where you, you want to use one of the indigenous languages of these uh, ethnic nations you put into Biafra okay none so what do you want to do in Biafra you want to speak English wow uh -huh. so you want to you you come you come out of the war Nigeria put you and then and Nigeria never undermined your evilness Nigeria never stopped you from you know building your evilness Nigeria never took your region from you like what they did for example what they did in south africa you know they took the land of the people took them away from all their villages and put them in all these parts that's why you see them they are in trailer parks they have no re uh, you know regions that they can call their own but we have always been in possession of our regions in nigeria and this is something that the nigerians every one of us as nigerian whether you are Igbo, whether you are Ijo, whether you are ethic whether you are yoruba whether you are anywhere from the north all these ethnicities we and our people have always been in control of our region we never lost control of it okay you may say that yeah uh, they put the appointed people yes they appointed people but it has always been one of our own sons and daughters so you know and it, you know just because they say you shouldn't do something well it doesn't mean you shouldn't do it you know because if you have control of your region you can also fix it if you want if you can you understand me so that one aside, Nigeria never uh, uh, um, denied us of who we are. Like in Nigeria, we could be Igbo. In Nigeria, we could speak Igbo language. Nigeria gave us that room. Nigeria gave us that room. The people that may even complain are people uh, who are so-called minorities whose languages don't get to be taught in school rather they will have to choose one of the three major languages so if those people are crying you know it's even understandable but if you are able you are one of the uh, you know uh, major languages that have to be spoken and you know that if you want to talk about a new country a new um, nation a new anything you start with the language you start with language you teach in that language you write in that language and your 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 sciences your uh, education will be in that language 
but we did not see any of this thing instead we are seeing people who are blowing hot hot grammar even even in their so-called ahara, ahara declaration you are speaking big big english you know and then you look at it you wonder say okay how can it be that you just uh, came back from oxford so they will not be say eh so you won't come tell us say you don't learn eh so you sabi speak our language eh? okay so you you sabi blow our grammar there was nothing about ethnicity there and then you look at the money that they want to spend in this new biafra hey it's pounds really so you want to go and be spending british pounds in your new biafra so why don't you have Igbo assets? Why don't you have Igbo currency? Why don't you have maybe uh, Calabar currency? Why don't you have any of the indigenous uh, former way of paying for things? No, but you want it in pounds. What is pounds? British pounds. British pounds? And you want to run away from British? So if you take a critical look at this thing called Biafra, you will see that it was a lie from the get-go. It was a lie. It was a setup, and the evil people have been set up with this name Biafra. And we need to look at it for what it is and bury it in this generation. If not, this blood sucking name, identity, whatever it is, is going to continue to eat up your sons and your daughters and destroy your psyche that you will not be able to look at things logically for what they are and you're gonna be using it to distract yourself you know because in our language they say because of biafra we have been dragging for land with an empty hand because if they say okay this is your biafra where is it where is biafra it doesn't have a map if you bring the map out now, these people will say, hey, you people should not try it or better remove this uh, part from there. This thing does not belong to there. What kind of nonsense is it? We don't want anything to do with your back. <laughs> and the other people will be looking and say, hey, did I see my name in that uh, uh, map? You better remove it or since when did uh, we are not part of you? You know, you know, so ha, there is nowhere in this world something like that happens that you can say, I'm fighting for this thing, and that thing that you are fighting for, you are even within it, it's already fighting inside. It is a, a, a lie from, from beginning. And you know, I've been doing videos and explaining this thing, and I think it's coming home to people that you know, this Biafra has nothing to do with Igbo people. And somehow, somehow, they just realized that, okay, 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 we cannot be Biafra, yeah, we are safe, we cannot be Biafra, eh, it's a blood sucking name, it has been eating its children, blah, 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 so now, we want to be Idu, Igodomidu, blah, 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 what happened to Igbo, Igbo, that your, your ancestors gave to you? What happened to Igbo that your land that that your you, your forefathers bequeathed to you? You have a duty to give what you did not pay for back to your children. You have a duty. If you don't want to give it to your own immediate children, fine. Then let it be. Then other people will bequeath it to their children. Why do you want to rob the Igbo people of their identity? The, the identity came with a language, the Igbo language. The identity came with a physical space upon the surface of this earth. What else are we looking for? How can you be fighting for something imaginary? Biafra, where is it? It doesn't exist. What language does it have? It doesn't have any language. But Igbo, Igbo it has a, it is a nation with different dialects. And you would think that anybody that is interested in building up their own indigenous ethnicity will start from Igbo. Building up the Igbo identity, even. Because for a start, it has not been built up. It has not been built up. Before the Europeans came, everybody was in every corner doing their own autonomous things. You know, so this would have been a perfect time to bring the whole Igbo et ethnic groups together. Yeah, because Igbo is a nation.
and a nation has a language and the language has dialect and so you can develop the language the language is a science you invest in the language development today if you see people who study Igbo they look down on them they say what did you say <laughs> Igbo hey, Igbo Jebe. you know they will be laughing at you and you say you're talking about having ethnicity and you don't have a language hello hello people rise up Thing. Like if you look at BBC making interviews in Igbo, hardly you see people uh, communicating in Igbo freely. It's like a struggle, it, you know. Like it, it do, it, this is uh, an opportunity that should be an institute funded by the state, f by uh, by anybody that is thinking about Igbo people. You understand me? I remember when I was in Yoruba land, they even have a newspaper in Yoruba language. They had a channel. As at that time, uh, Channel 7 was Yoruba language. Everything they were doing was Yoruba language. You don't have this thing. You don't have anything. Even when BBC was doing, uh, BBC had been doing BBC Hausa for forever. And then they decided to add Yoruba. And Igbo people were like, oh, they, are, they left us because you're not using the language you want to go and speak queen's english you want to speak queen english you want to dress english because you are now a, a black english no i'm sorry you are not black english you are Igbo. you are Igbo. you are Igbo. so you, you, it's better for you to develop that identity so that people will want to be Igbo. not that you are looking oh this Igbo is not good enough you wanted to go and be jew jewish people have come and say you, you are not jew what else you want to be Jew? I've never seen it in my life that any serious people will be uh, trying to escape from their identity. But I'm thinking that it's still the aftermath of the war, you know, the, 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 the pain and the, the defeat and the suffering. You know, he, one generation doesn't recover from war. It takes generations and constant working. But we are barely out of the first mistake and some people are eager. Just because they are making money from it and living larger need, they don't care. You know, they are just kind of derailing the whole Igbo population to to go and be doing uh, 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 Biafra agitation. And they know it's a lie. They know they just want to have a stake in the nigerian politics why don't you play the politics why don't you organize yourself why don't you build up a party and use it as a, a platform for negotiation to get into the center you know you can't do that you are jumping like frog from here to here anywhere you see gary for soup you go put hand there you can't stay in one place you can't meticulously walk in one place you are too impatient for that and you say you want to build a nation you say hey you have all the good opinion you, you have all the knowledge how to do it you are going to do it japan well everybody have an opinion show us people want to see people want to see what you can do when people look at her back you know people are like wow you know okay is this how to do the this thing you see the abia governor you know the war so far even at that, he keeps getting a word. And you ask yourself, what is really going on? You know, the only governor you can even really praise for transformation is the governor of a born state. You know, he see how he's doing, uh, uh, converting the state, uh, building infrastructure in the state. Of course, more needs to be done, but at least it's an example of what can be done. And so you don't have to be looking for online country without any space, without any language, without any known people. <laughs> And then you want to assume an, uh, an identity that does not exist so that, you know, you will now lose the one that you have. So what is the Idu kingdom now? Idu. So what will happen if you answer Igbo? Will you die? Will you die? You already have Igbo. You already have Igbo language. You already have Igbo land. What else are you looking for? What else are you looking for? You know? You know, it is said that the grass is always green on the other side, you know. But I like to, uh, to, to say, and, and, and I think it's a popular quote from somebody, I, I will look for that quote. And it's a popular quote and it says, the grass is green on every side. Really, you know. But you just have to water it. If you water your grass, it will be green. But because you don't water your grass, you are looking at every other place. It's as oh, the, the grass is green that side, the grass is green that side. But you don't water your own grass, so your own grass is not green enough. But if you water your grass, it will be green, as green as it can be. So my people, 
I don't know what this is doing to me, so I've said the one I want to say. So I will open the line. If anybody wants to call, you can call in to put in your own uh, contribution. Um, yeah, let's talk about the Edu Kingdom. <laughs> yeah, so my people, you've seen it. Uh, above all, I want to say that we have been vindicated. We have been vindicated, you know. So I saw through this scam and I spoke up. And I feel happy that I've been vindicated because every day we see how they are metamorphosis into the iberiberism that they have been doing. So somebody called you um, a dot. You are not happy. And now you are not made yourself indigenous people of I. Eh? Is it not uh, indigenous people of the Iberibe? Eh? What kind of thing is all this one? And the worst thing is people die for this thing. People die for this thing. My dear MC man, this is uh, Nelly of Abu, Dr. Nelly of Abu. How are you doing? I am very glad that you're standing tall. You know, it's going to be easy. So I um, I thank God for your spirit. Uh, please stand firm, stand firm. Because the truth will always prevail in the end. The truth is the only thing that will make us free. So I really appreciate um, everything you're doing, our people. It's going to take a while after the storm, they will understand. But I want you to know that you are doing the right thing. So um, tell your audience that I will be there on Sunday, December 5th. They need to do their own research before they come. They need to do their own investigations. They have brains. So they need to figure out what is going on. What is this all about? Somebody sent a message and said, why don't we get Biafra first uh, before we start talking about names? And that is foolishness because I refuse to respond to that person because that is pure foolishness. We are not going to be free without knowing who we are. We cannot be free without knowing the real truth. Uh, why, uh, why is Garuba saying that Garuba Sheru saying that the arrest of Martin Landikan is the end of IPUB? Basically, there's something they know. They're telling us the arrest of Martin Landikan is the end of Biafra, if you guys don't know. These are things that have been orchestrated in the past in years. Why are the white people even more scared of this name? There are people they are busy on Facebook ranting. Why are the white people more scared about this name you do than they are? They care about name. They don't know the significance. They don't know the bondage. They say white people are scared of you do. I didn't know you do. Now you do. They rock everywhere now. He <laughs> <It> shock you. <laughs> She said that everybody is afraid. Why everybody is afraid of this name? He do. Okay. Ah, I even they say he do. I don't know say that he do. Okay. <laughs> it's that we've gone through. We cannot get our freedom without knowing the truth. Let them know. Let them go do their own research. Now, those people that are milking an oil, those, oh, they're going to dry. Those, that oil is going to dry and they will pack and go home. And we're going to dismantle everything else they have and they will go home because we know who we are right now. So anybody telling you we have to get... So the, your supreme leader didn't know who he was all those times. He was saying, is Biafra or there? He even said, is Biafara. If you add and be, you know, he said is Afara. The, the original name is Afara. So if you add it B, then become Bia Afara. That is, you know, God is wonderful and he's from Afara. And now you want to say that. So he did not know what he was saying all those times. Uh, he was talking about Afara and B Afara. And so now you want to spoil his show. You say you are Supreme Lord. So you want to tell me that all that University of Radio Biafra you people went to was a waste because you people didn't know who you were. You didn't know that you were a do. Okay, oh, continue. Biafra first. Before we start, start talking about names, they are ignorant. We have to know who we are first. Our leader has to come out first. Let me tell the, all these people, I will do anything. I will take whatever risk it takes, whatever it takes, for Martin Nandikano to come out. 
This is one of the risks that I have to take, and I am taking it. I am glad you are standing with me. Please, my dear, you are doing the right thing. You are doing what God sent you to do. Stand on this truth, and you will see it's going to be a miracle. They think they are holding our leader hostage. No, we are the one that has been holding our leader hostage by ignorance, by believing the lies of the devil, the lies of bondage and slavery. So, my people, so all along you have been running around, killing yourself, dying, doing all those things. You have been deceiving yourself. And you have been in bondage of the lies of slavery. So, Biafra has been a deceit. You have been deceiving yourself. Are you hearing it? I did not say it all. Lauren. By believing the lies of the devil, the lies of bondage and slavery. The affairs in the lies of what you're doing until our leader comes out. This is one of the things that we have to do. This is one of the finishing touches for our leader to come out. Nobody has the power to hold our leader Martin Nandikan hostage. We are the ones that is holding him hostage by our ignorance. By being the affairs. And the truth has to come out for this great nation to arrive. Mm -hmm. Please stand firm. He do nation. Once our leader comes out, he will take over and do whatever he wants with everything, with our name, with our freedom. All we want him is to come out. All we want is for him to come and declare the nation in whatever name. But he has to come out first. And I want to assure you that you are doing the right thing. Don't listen to all these evil people. The full and the caliphate knows what I'm talking about. They're going crazy. Hey. Because they know they cannot hold us down anymore. It's going to take a brave soul to do what you're doing. But if this is the assignment that you're giving, I have no choice. It's not easy on me anyway. All the Europeans, they're all going crazy. Why are the <laughs> Everybody is going crazy. <laughs> Edu Nation, Nikon is scattered the whole world now. At the mention, good evening, Tochi. <laughs> At the mention of Edu Nation, the caliphate is shaking. The white people are shaking. The whole world is shaking. Vibration all along. The new name is the new name of vibration. Biafra is all things are passed away. Biafra is lies and deceit. The plan of the enemy, uh, the work of Satan. Nye, 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 nye. Eh? So, you want to tell all the people that were running around and dying, they are formidable, they are, they, they are uh, Biafra, or they are dying. Uh, uh, that, oh, so it was a mistake. They did not know you. So, you people did not know. So, you want to tell me that your leader did not know. Hey, my people, you can't make this kind of thing up. Hmm? So I don't know who now be since for the since how many years now? Now now I can't know say now he do be the 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 new one and the worst part is <laughs> the whole world is shaking. Europeans are shaking. Uh, the caliphs is shaking. Uh, you white people they want to fuck it and say because they know now the name and, and the people are going to be liberated. Uh -huh. So Kano is in detention because of Biafra. So just remove the name Biafra and put it he do and then he's gonna be free. He's free because of their ignorance. So now their wisdom and their sense we is going to give him freedom. But come joke wow, was he free before when he was fighting for freedom? So your colonel is free all along. And he said, I want to fight for my freedom. I want to go and die. I want to fight for my freedom. So you were free since. So now they now put you one place. And you now say, free him. Free him how? Free him for the freedom that he was freeing and fighting for before. You see those ones that was Rike deceived. 15 years they were in, inside. And was Rike was flexing. And now they have come out. Uh, they are thanking God for their freedom. I hope they realize the freedom that they have now. They are free. You have been free. Don't let anybody tell you you are not free. Now Kano is there. They, they, they're free now. They can free for what? 
free so that you will come and be doing stupid lecture on on on, on, on Facebook and radio and uh, giving order of who to die and who to live. Eh? Instead of you to say, give him a uh, uh, Biafra. Oh, sorry. Uh, he do. <laughs> Freedom, right? I want freedom. Oh, you are free. You see, she say you you are not free. And hey, then I say, okay, come inside, come and sit down and stay here. For me, you calm down. He say, oh, ah, free me, free me. Ah, but you were free since you say you want to fight. Oh, no, you never know the meaning of freedom. Enjoy that place more. Mm -hmm. Good evening, <laughs> favor. <laughs> Enjoy the inside first so that when you come outside, you go say, Oh my god, so I was free before. Yes, you are free. You wake up, you do what you want to do. You are free. You are free. You don't know the freedom you have in Nigeria. And you are so free in Nigeria because even the government is not working well, you are even freer than anywhere else. In Nigeria, you wake up, you go and uh, put uh, 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 anything you want to uh, sell, you start selling and nobody disturb you. You can't do that anywhere else. You, you know how many tax you pay. You register for this agency, you get approval before. Uh, uh. You think it's a small thing? You are free. But they tell you, oh, you are not free. Uh, so we want to fight for your freedom. Freedom from what? You only have to fight for the freedom to free your heart from hatred because if you the only way they used to come into your heart is hate and if you stop hating you will see through their lie if you stop hating other people because of their race because of their ethnicity because of their religion stop hating people you will see you will see it is a lie you are free nobody hold you you know and the whole time all these fracas have been happening in the north is because you were there in their space if you were not there in their space you will not have any friction with them and a reasonable person will say like the prodigal son he went out he was everywhere he was having difficulty he was even working in a farm and he had to eat goat food and you know eat um food that was meant uh, for um for uh, for sheep and then he come to his senses and say i will go back to my home i got my lakurunam my in my father's house uh, even the, the slave there they don't eat this poor food they don't do bad things like that i'm going to go back to my house uh to my my father and ask for forgiveness and uh, you know uh, you know be in my father's house and then he went you would see that people who say that they are smart this is what they will be doing no instead you'll be like a tree they are killing up they are cleaning up in a web look at what they are doing and you are there and all this time you are there <laughs> they are there you are there and all this time you are doing that you are evil land that you fathers your ancestors lived upon before white man came is there rotting dilapidating gully erosion is taking over the land your evil land is there it's not livable it's, it's undeveloped the youth have nothing for them going there they have to leave it so that they can uh, survive you, and all you can do is come up with es uh, 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 excuses Excuse me, I say you are not free. Where well, you have access to Igbo land, a whole uh, Igbo land. Where well, you have access to human resources, quality human beings that you can use it to turn it into anything. Make a, a health hub, a, 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 um, a economic hub, um, um, technology hub. You have the humans that have the internet. You can turn all these places into all these things. You, we have so many people who have the gift and the brain to be medical professionals. You can turn a, a, that region to a health hub. All of our Africa people will come there for health tourism. We, we, you know, you invest in it. You can turn it to tech, tech hub. You have all the brain to do technology and bring us on no what are you doing you are crying i want my freedom and you are free i want my freedom eh, i was i was i can have change. but you are ruling yourself your sons and your daughters are in control why don't you ask that from there ask them eh, the money they are getting where is it 
They don't pay salaries, but they get money for salaries. They are owing for pension. They don't pay our, our, our fathers, our mothers. They are killing these people. Why? Why are they allowed to go, uh, uh, continue, and everybody doesn't think about it? And they say, eh, the water already spoiled from the top. Eh, the water spoiled from the top. Really? So because the water spoiled from the top, you are not going to ask the people in your direct vicinity. How come? Eh? Eh, you see Kano wearing Fendi. Fendi inside prison. I see his brother wearing Fendi. And you see about people looking uh, uh, looking for uh, 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 sellers, uh, buyers, looking for name, looking for branding. Wouldn't it be uh, possible for that uh, 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 Gorimakpa head that used that uh, Jewish cup to cover his Gorimakpa? Wouldn't it have paid him better to wear a bar made and give a bar made a brand? So that people will patronize his about brothers. No, but he wants to go and wear the brand that other people have made. Is anybody from Abia State or Ibola working in Fendi Company? No, but he's wearing Fendi in the morning, Fendi in the afternoon, uh, Fendi in the prison. His brothers are wearing Fendi. Who will now give about uh, Taylor's brand? Who will brand? Who will help them in branding? And when they have that brand and people will wear it all over africa africa have the population africa have the population you just have to get the idea and sell it to them you don't do that one you have all this large following what do you do with it you are wearing fendi so you are not telling them that everything they have in Abba is not good enough they have to aspire to earn Fendi, and you see all those our big brothers who have money, they are going after their own yembu and they are wearing Fendi. But their Abba brothers are looking for a brand name. Why don't you uh, encourage them by turning one or two of their products to a brand so that all imagine? The guy is just so empty, so empty, and I don't know why our people are so happy to have people who are empty be in their front and lead them and destroy them and rob them, and they are happy with it. You know, people in Abba, imagine what he would have done for them if he wear their branding, if he make a brand out of whatever they are doing there make a brand out of their shoes make a brand out of their clothes and wear it and all his like you know he has so many follow millions of followers and all of them begin to patronize that do you know the economy that means the money will stay within that place and you know uh, you know um there's there's a word they call it you know it will uh, change hands within that place before the money will leave it will go around they don't think about this. These people don't care. Uh, they, they didn't pay me. He pay me because when I say that these people don't care, you know, it, they don't care, uh, and it, it, you know, it hurts me. You know, it hurts me. I know that they don't care, and uh, and I think that uh, what pains me the most is that I want to tell the people at home that nothing is going on. You know, nothing is going on. They should remove their mind there. Nothing is going on. That's that's actually that's what I wanted to do. Say, come, my my people, don't let them deceive you and tell you, uh, you know that uh, you should go and die. Uh, they are they're not ready to die. They just want to use you. They want to use you, take advantage of your poor situation, and uh, distract you. So the politicians from our place, uh, they get all their location. Me, I did not hear that any of them. Did not get their allocation. I even saw it was doing a video that the federal government is impeding development. I don't know. Uh, assuming if Umahi was saying the same thing now, nah, me, I would have said, okay, you know. Um, if Umahi would go for presidency, that is the kind of person I would support because, you know, he has shown love to his people, you know. He has shown love to his people. Eboi is really transformed now. If you look at their capital, you know, and uh, the, uh, like if you look at uh, Imo State, if you look at Abia State, uh, it's almost like the same colonial art post. So what are we even saying, my people? Eh? It has been a lie all along. 
and they know it and and so the more people are trying to come out of it uh people are beginning to think they will add more they will they will be changing it you know you know playing tricks on your mind yeah it's not coming oh there's no biafra anyway and uh, you can see it so for them to change it to oh, idu and now they are telling you again that europeans are afraid of idu uh eh, the whole world is shaking everybody is shaking of that name now lie yo many people don't know what to be do what to be that one who they hear that kind of thing where where that where is it to do where is it who do it do there's nothing like that there's nothing like that hello Hello, blessed. Hello, How good. I'm good. I'm good. Good evening. Uh, good evening. Uh, whenever I see your program, I always get excited. <laughs> Thank it's you. It's a pleasure seeing you on the screen because you, <laughs> you, you always come with a hell lot of package. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah. So uh, finally, the 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 thing has the. Uh, is now uh, <laughs> getting to the time. <laughs> yes, yeah, so yeah, the, the <laughs> at the end of the day, the, everybody is now seeing the the whole movie. Yeah. Now they don't even have they don't even have stand. Hmm. They don't even know where they stand. Mm, no. <laughs> the whole thing is, is has become drama. The whole world is shaking at the yeah, mention of it. Do yeah. <laughs> <laughs> The whole thing has become. <laughs> Good evening, <laughs> Michael. We, we, we have left. We have left Jafra. Left uh, Jew, Jewish. Yeah, uh, we are now in the Hindu. Yes. Hindu community. Should we should we call it Hindu country or? Hindu. I don't know the name of the country. Is that is it is Hindu Hindu. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you can't make this uh, kind of story uh, up, they honestly. Now no, the Kano and his people are full of they are they are all clowns. <laughs> uh, yeah. uh, they are all clowns. Look at the way they are messing their self so. I'm telling you. Uh, <laughs> this, this brother this, said it too is and they do they do. The so called you know, are now looking for, uh, okay. looking for a, 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 a peaceful solution to get Biafra. The hmm. almighty DOS, we are formidable. Eh. Unam the Kano that teach them formidable. They are, they are not following his uh, footsteps mm. again. They have left his blueprint. Kill a killer. He do fraud. Born, <laughs> have born police station. Hey. Kill policemen, kill security operatives. They are now leading all these things mm. according to the terms of uh, sitting on the, on, the, on the conference table and talk. Hmm. Who are they? Who are they trying trying to fool now? Are they trying to fool the, the, the followers, or are they trying to fool the Biafras or the Igbos? They are a bunch of confused people. Yeah, because people now, are the getting GOS, the message that you know Biafra has brought nothing but death, and so they are trying to deflect again, you know, and say, "Nah, yeah. is he do? He do?" Uh, it, it's better off now so now the Kano can start taking it from prison. They should pass the message to Susan the oh, Kano. Okay. The, uh, Let me take another call, yeah? Start. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. I appreciate your program. Thank you. So, I don't want to say my name, uh, but uh, I'm, uh, I'm a fan of your page. I've been following you for like two years. Wow. I'm based in Canada, you get it. so wow. I don't want to show my yes. So so I'm based in Canada. So so I have a lot of people that are that are from Igbos here. Yeah, okay. In Canada. And my junior sister my junior sister her dad is an Igbo girl. Ah, okay. You know what I mean? So 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 we are from Edo State. Ah, okay. So I'm from Esaco. So, okay. so I'm from Etaka, which is the northern part of Edo State. Okay. So now, so the na so this new name um, the the RPO base are not trying to claim now. You do, are they try to say that the Edo people no get history or with the apple or or maybe I think I think I think what I'm saying here is that the mm -hmm. the older generations of the Igbo people they are not educating their children of this generation that hey, this is what happened during the time of 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 of, 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 of kingdoms everywhere in this Nigeria now. There are so many kingdoms in this Nigeria and this 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 kingdom our kingdom which is beneath 
mm. on fire. Mm. Be, before that, it was it, it was it, it was known as a as a um uh, uh, <laughs> mm. That was during the time of uh, of our king. Mm. Okay, so so okay. it was during the time of of our new king uh, of Bale, uh Eureka. Now change the name from that to Edo. You know what I mean? Um, b- before before our civil war, right? It was the it was the Biafra people that invaded our kingdom in order to defeat the Nigerian soldier. But unfortunately, it turned back. You know what I mean? So so when they invaded our kingdom, so the people from there they refused to go back to their land. So so they decided to settle down with us in our kingdom. We not drive anybody. So I think they need to tell the truth that we invaded these people kingdom. And uh, and the some of our access to refuse to go back to where they come from. So that's where today you have a lot of evils, people that speak evil in our kingdom. Um okay. before that before that it was been there. What is been there state? Bini and Delta. Mm. You get what I mean? Mm. So it was during the time of trying to create more states in Nigeria, trying to create more states in Nigeria. You know, uh, General Babakida tried to create his own state so that so that we can have all those 36 states now. Mm. So we need to tell ourselves the truth. We are all the same people in the whole, in, whether you be outside, you be Igbo, you be Yoruba, you from Edo, we are, we are all the same people. Yeah. There's no need for us to fight ourselves. Yeah. We just have to develop our region. Mm-hmm. Develop our region. If you feel like if if, if you feel like they are not treating you well, mm-hmm. develop your, your region. Then other tribes, other region, we see say you have actually done well in developing your region. Yeah. There are small politics that come to the center. Yeah. Everybody go vote for you. If you develop your region, people go vote for me. I'm from Edo State. Mm-hmm. Okay. If I see that the evil people develop their region, ah. Uh, I like good things as evil though I'm based in Canada. You get? Yeah. So I like good things. I will vote an evil man in as president. I will vote you in as president. When you show me, say, you can develop your region and you have what it takes to rule this country, I will vote you in mm. as my president. Okay. Okay. You get? Yeah. You cannot just come from nowhere. You are not a politician. You don't have any stake. You don't have any stake in your region. You just want to cause confusion. In all these things you are fighting for now, if they give it to you, now control, you will just enslave your people. Yeah. What? Make it tell yourself the truth. Yeah. You will enslave your people. Yeah. Go to the museum. Go to every museum you go in, in America, in the UK, in the, in the uh, 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 Australia. There have been many artifacts there. Mm. These people existed. We existed. Yeah. Stop trying to claim our region. Yeah. Stop trying to claim our region. Mm. Thank you. Thank you so much. Is it? Yeah, thank you. I always tell my sister, I tell my sister the same thing. My sister is an evil girl. Yeah. I always tell, I say my sister, don't judge these things, all this, so just face, just face your studies. Mm. You're an evil girl, you, nobody's going to deny you that. Mm. Forget about it. Okay, okay, let can look at our country there now, right? Who is other, who is really being marginalized in, <laughs> in, in, in this, our country? Mm. In Niger Delta, Mm. The Bini people are the people that are actually being marginalized. Mm. If you check where we mm. if you look beyond region, beyond tribes, like entitlement, yeah. we are the people that are being marginalized in this country. We are not even making noise. I'm yeah, telling every, you the truth. We are can, not making noise. Everybody we are not can have a to be reason to, be mani- to feel marginalized. Yeah, everybody. Right? Yeah. Everybody. Yes, now we are the people that have been marginalized in this our country. We are not even making noise. We are not fighting to be president. We are not fighting. You see, other the nineteen ninety nine constitution, it says that if a European man is coming in as a president, and the Doma cannot even come out because why? They say that we are related with one another. So we are the one. And now, and now we are. They called us minority in this country. Are we really minority? Are we really minority? If you take the history and the question of this country, yeah. Nigeria, we are not the minority. But yeah. today, everybody knows, oh, I do people, I'm um, minority. minority. We take everything, okay, that's fine. Make we work together as, a, as people, as country, make we build our country. We do have road, though. If what happen, how many people you feel carry from, uh, yeah. from your home to so come to Canada? How mm. many people can you carry? Yeah. Eh? It's not, people are that. 
people. People are tired of new country, new country, new this, new this, you want country. Yeah. People are just, you see, let we just develop, love ourselves yeah. and develop ourselves. Forget yeah. about this uh, uh, tribe and try to make. And yeah. This is the problem of our people. Yeah. Why do we hate ourselves? Yeah. We need to tell ourselves the truth. Yeah. All right. Thank we you so much. Empires. We yeah. have great empires. Yeah. Yes, Mama. Yeah. Thank, you, right, so thank yeah. you so much. Thank yeah. You so much. Thank, thank you for that contribution. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, so he he's making a very good point. First of all, a door was a kingdom, and everybody knows about it. You know the the great Benin civilization. Even um, the it's been said that even the Benin walls, you know, can even rival um, you know some of other uh, great walls like the um, the the Great Wall of China. You know, and uh, uh, the streets of Benin has been paved like it was like. A, like a developed kingdom, and this the 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 way they developed the city had patterns to it. You know, like it was it was a kingdom, and like the brother was saying that uh, they invaded that place, and um, they invaded they invaded that place, and that's how some Igbos uh, are speaking Igbo. Me, I'm actually thinking that um, just the way we migrate to develop areas you know I, i'm thinking there may be some kind of migration you know like just looking at it logically i'll feel like there are some margin uh, migration at that time uh, you know into uh, this uh Bini kingdom area because of course it was a developed place so people from the hinterland it will be a natural thing that they will migrate there to seek for uh, you know a better life something like that so the Bini kingdom existed the Bini king we even did a literature on it the uh above vera when or basi this one i know about Vernon and Vasi, we learned, we, we did, uh, because I did literature in secondary school, so it was one of our uh, topic and how he was uh, finally taken to Calabar where he, he died, you know. So, um, uh, but you cannot say that about Biafra, like, who was their king? What was anything about them? There was nothing. Edo people have a do language, for example. Edo people have a, a physical, that is how you know the people who actually existed who actually existed you understand me you see people who have a region a physical space upon the surface of this earth you know and uh, we don't joke with that a physical space you know like uh, when people try to buy land own a uh, uh, property so that they can have some kind of ownership of a physical space on this earth and this is something we have everyone in nigeria have it we have a, sp a physical space that you can call your own. Do you know that, um, for example, if in our villages, we may not necessarily uh, have to buy land to live in our villages. You know, like this is the freedom we have in Nigeria. Like you are from this village, maybe there are some land from your ancestors that is still there. There's a possibility for you to uh, live on that land, build on it without paying for it, you know, like without going to anywhere to pay for it or anything like that, you know. So this is the this is the freedom we have in Nigeria, and the Edo people have that physical space, and they have been occupying it ever since. Nobody have taken them away from that physical space, and Edo people have a Edo language, and they speak it, and this is the language they use in communication. Once you get into Edo areas, it's a Edo language. They speak it, uh, their children speak it, everything, you know this is a people that are uh, evidently there the same thing you can say about evil people evil people have always been in these places where they are as evil and they speak evil language and they have evil ancestry and they live there but now they want to somehow transform you to something that is not existing something that is you do the, uh, what is the language of you do Okay, maybe there's something like he do in, in Bini and it was, so what does that have to do with evil people? Like this thing is madness. And who are these people who want to impose all this identity? They say they are Jew. You know, uh, uh, this may be offensive to a lot of people that think that the Bible is history. The Bible is not history. You know, the Bible is not history. People think the Bible is, uh, is history. The religious books, they are not history. You know, they take maybe some names of some things that maybe happened in history and they put it and people think it's a history. No, it's not history. And so it's very funny when they make this um, 
a connection from the Bible, Eri, God, and, 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 and people look at them, it's so comical, but they don't know it, you know. And like in my last video, I made a video where I said five things how you can know that, uh, you know, even if we are not Jews, and I get a lot of attack, and people feel offended, and you wonder why do evil people feel so offended and attacked when you tell them that they are not they are not Jews. What is wrong with being able? And they say, eh, what if there's something else that we could, we have, we are able? To, why is being able not enough? Why? You know, like, I never see any German person wanting to be anything else, you know? And they would defend that German, that, that German language. I don't see anybody wanting to be any other thing. Why? Why? I think we need to get to the deep root of this inferiority complex that is making people want to escape from the identity that they are forefathers gave to them why why do you want to be Jew because it is written in some book uh, you know this is not what your father told you you know so many things that we do it's actually not um, what our our you know um, our forefathers taught us if, if even all this violence that we see if you if you have lived with any elderly people old person you will know that they are not violent they never um, uh, discipline children with violence where did the violence start it started with colonization because the colonial master had to beat and use violence against the people In the first people who became violent and tried to correct children with violence were the first people who went to colonial schools and it's a mark of education they call it disciplinary so anybody who have lived with elderly people because i was you know i was uh, opportuned to live uh, in the village at a time and there were very old people who were there who experienced you know a time before the colonial master who were not educated in the colonial ways you know in the way they went about with children discipline uh, 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 trying to teach you every opportunity they, they have is an education you are sitting with them they are talking they are teaching you things they are telling you things you go to farm everything they are doing they are talking about it they are teaching you you know they are taking a leave that they are, they are all it's like permanent schooling with them and if you do something wrong they are not going to be violent with you this is my experience you know and i was wondering like where did this violence come from and then you realize that the violence came from the from outside it's an outside influence but today the people have, that brought all this violence they have let it go they don't even uh, use violence on their children but we can't do without that violence anymore we want to say oh you want to spoil the child we just want to use that violence because you know this because they didn't see you know humanity and they didn't just use that violence on only on us they also use it on all, any other people here you know they use the violence on themselves before they started going out to look for something you know because of course you you see the weather is cold there's not much they, they came from very harsh weather you know so um uh, we don't have that way originally you understand so the problem we have is that our education is not teaching us a new our own ideas uh, or maybe the ideas that our phobias of course there are other things that they did that was wrong you know like all these human sacrifices and all those things um we still see uh reverberations of it today when we see all these ritual killings going on you know um there are uh, there's not uh, it's not like i'm saying there was an edorado you know but i'm just saying like some things you can look at the root of it and look at where it's coming from you know just because you see something that it is written like this then you begin to put yourself in it and make connections to it and you want to lose the one you have physically you know it's, it, it, it doesn't speak well it doesn't speak well of our people so um, because I was opportunity to, like you know I live with my grandmother I live with elderly people it, nobody ever raised their hand on me not like they never were angry at me or anything like this you know they have other ways uh, they can caution you and they, they can use um, um, something like riddles and to teach you um, you know so that you have you think about what you are doing and the repercussions you understand me oh there's somebody calling in hello yeah hello good day my sister hey, good, um, good evening from here Nigeria Ah, I'm hearing you. Good Are you evening. still live? Yeah, I'm still live. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, I want to use opportunity to thank you fervently for the good. 
Yeah, thank you. To see you liberate the uh, head of your people yeah. from the brainwash of this uh, yeah. bingo. So that is that God Almighty will surely protect you and guide you. Amen. That is that. Amen. But trace my point, looking at the topic you put today that it is no longer Biafra, now it's Idukin. Yeah. So the question, some questions will arise from this topic that you wrote now. Since it's no longer Biafra, it's now Idu. So what is the fate of those who die because of this yeah. lies and propaganda of the call Biafra? Yeah. Biafran Bingos ought to answer this question. What is the fate of those who died? What is the fate of those who are held in prison now? Mm. What is the fate of those who have been washed at the point of no return? So all these questions ought to pop up so that they will answer it in a clear term so that the, their followers will understand it. But honestly, to be sincere with you, my sister, the brainwash is far. Yeah, yeah. We have to Extremely do more. Far. We have to do more. To a point yeah. you, don't, you don't even know how to, how to, how to define the brainwash. Yeah. yeah. Could you imagine <coughs> a, a, a court, a, a head of a woman being has been caught and has been placed in a market square? Hmm. And the other people were playing ball with the head of a human mm. being. This happened in Southeast. Mm. The so-called elders were moot. None mm. of them came out to say, why will you place a head of a human being mm. in a mass market mm. square? For God's sake, it's a father to someone, it's a brother to someone, it's a senior, senior brother to, 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 to someone. But they were not ashamed to gather themselves as the as elders to go to afar away to Abuja to beg Buhari to release the person who insinuate or instigate this crisis mm. in the surface. Could you imagine? Mm. Looking at the parameters, you know that these people are com completely confused. Mm. It's very very unfortunate yeah. that the South East found herself or themselves in such a dilemma or such a situation which we have been preaching, yeah. saying that do not go to the way of the Northeast, because if it happens in the Southeast, each and every family will suffer for it. Yeah. Because yeah. this is how it is in the Southeast, in the Northeast. Yeah. So my last point here, I'm praying that to God Almighty, that for those who bring this world to Southeast, may God Almighty punish them wherever they are. May Amen. the blood of those who died May the blows of those who died continue to haunt them wherever they are. May they never see peace in their life. Thank you, my sister. Thank you. For giving me this opportunity to speak on. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Thank you so much for calling in. Yeah. So, my people, yeah, the thing is, if you don't use your brain, they will use it for you. They will use it for you, and this is just it. So, either you learn now, now they have changed to do, the whole world is shaking for you. Okay, what about all those people that are in prison, you know? So, um, I hope that uh, maybe the governors or whoever, of course, they don't care about the other people. They only care about the killer leader, you know? So, if they can care about those ones who are, uh, you know, rotting away in different prisons, you know, so that they can have compassion on them and say they, they were misled, bring them out to rehabilitate them. And another thing, we also saw how they have been using, uh, you know, crystal melt uh, to, you know, to hype their spirit and use it against them. So many of them are suffering in every, different parts of the, the Southeast right now. Uh, you know, um, having withdrawal effects and you know addiction problems and um, it's all connected. You know, it's all connected. So my people, I think um, I'm going to end this broadcast here. Um, yeah, <coughs> you know, so I, I, it's good for every one of us to think about it that Biafra did not come. After how many millions of people died during the Ojuku uh, uh, deception, 
How many millions of people do you think will die before the thing will come? It will never come. It was a mirage. It didn't exist. It has no history. It has no place. It has no language. It has no value system. Nothing. You know, so you want to superimpose something that is not existing. A mirage. You know, you know, you know, like when you are, I remember in those days when, when we are driving from Lagos to the east. So, you know, you come to a part of the road. It's like the other end of the road is a hill. You know, it looks like a, a hill, a mountain, something, you know, a high, elevated area. So, when you are driving to that place, you see that, ah, you know, it was flat. So, it's a mirage. You know, that thing is a mirage. This is what it looks like. So, for the, for those people whose spirits are being hyped up, I just want to tell you that it's a mirage. Nothing is there. When you get there, you see that nothing is there. You know, it's like you are driving and they, you are looking at this place. It's like it's elevated. You know, good evening. Hey, good evening, my brother. Yeah, are you still online? I'm still online, no. Okay. <laughs> Although I'll be going off very soon, yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm so happy to call in. Maybe I'll be the last person to speak. Yeah. Any yeah. Program. Uh, let's go. I think, uh, like we always say, both times I assume he was a very wise and smart. But later I realized it when it comes to business, how to buy goods and sell, and mm. that extra money on it mm. to sell. I think that is the only wisdom we have. <laughs> Every other thing they propagated about us being smart mm. actually the opposite. You know, when we told these people that, this Biafra of it, during the time of Oju, Oju acted out of arrogance. Mm. He couldn't even listen to any other advice. Mm. He couldn't call people to negotiate. Mm. He didn't call people to say what is the best option for him. Mm. Because of his arrogance at his age, he took Ibos to war. Mm. After the death of three million people, more than. He never apologized for it. No. Rather, he was given a, a warm welcome. Yeah. He was even bragging about how he led them to war. And he said he, he, he led it proudly. Who's... He proudly led people. You proudly led people to hmm. the slaughter. And you are proud of it. You see? And, and the most funny thing is that when such thing happens, you begin to see people making music, saying songs and all this then mm -hmm. hyping in and everybody, most people, at least ninety eight percent of or ninety nine percent of Igbos today, the story they give they gave to them about Ojibu is actually not the right thing. Yeah. Because when we were born, we used to listen to both these people calling him, praising him, hyping him how he mm -hmm. how he was to the outside. So that noise, it is just right now that I arrived to you. I began to read, I had access to internet, I began to research, to read all about what happened in the world many years ago. Mm. And I realized that this man was only being selfish and mm -hmm. his ego is what he was trying to put. Yeah. yeah. Because if this man had human conscience, mm. the first thing Udu would have done is, the day he arrived in the he would apologize. Mm. But he never did so. He received the world welcome, people were giving him praises. So now to them, they cannot now. Now they cannot, soon, like someone said, it was nothing but a scar taken too far. Taken too far. Far, far away. So far it. to you do land. <laughs> now they never knew this thing would got up to this hmm. He saw Biafra agitation as a source of impact. Imagine mm. someone who spent years in the UK. You know how it is in Europe. It's when not hard. It's ask, not easy oh, now. Yeah. Is, there is no chance. Yeah. You can't end. Yeah. You need to work your asses up. Yeah. And there is no work in Europe. There is no work for you. There is no easy work in Europe. Yeah. You must pick up your hard, own hard work. Hard ah. work. Now, imagine someone who is late for you. Play his hand on what something that will give him money without working for his mm. he is not going to show it and begin to talk because he is good at talking. That's why he left Ebola. 
he can arise our need because he realized that evil people love hate so much even within ourselves. We hate we we, mm. we grew up with what mm. they hate. And this young man realized that he must be Christian this one. That is why he spent his time in preaching it. More money will be contributed to it. Now, a few weeks ago, or can I say last week, I had uh, uh, the idea, I don't know the word now, whether, I, whether it is DOS or DOP, I don't know the other uh, D-O-E. abbreviation. DOE. Or DOE, I don't know. <laughs> okay, we are talking about opening your account. Okay. But, uh, only we do have uh, maybe access to close down the account of the woman in America is so on it. Okay. That's what I did on the phone yesterday. Eh? Now, before he had the car got arrested, you know when you when 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 you meet a scammer, according to those who always engage in this mm. <laughs> so I also know. So there is what we call, there is what they call format one, format two. <laughs> you, you cannot play format two without playing format one. Uh, it's when you play format one and the book pays, then you bring it format two. Format. <laughs> After format two, there is format three. Okay. So, ESN was what? Format two. After the whole Jafra story, mm. like things like that, you need to take. Why are we paying every month? Mm. What is this guy doing with our money? Mm. So, what can this guy do? And not only that, people, those who are handling the money, it's just like where you have mm. a, church, a church business now. Yeah. Okay? And you have branches. Not like, you know, most of these churches with their branches, it's not like the owner built the church. Yeah. People build the church. They use the, the license of not the license, the name of the owner mm. to establish it. Uh-huh. So once you do something like this, of course there is a percentage that this man, the owner will be receiving, receiving every yeah. or every month. This is how IPOB works. Now, now they kind of say you can open up a branch of IPOB anywhere you are. Uh-huh. Coordinate yourself, mm-hmm. submit your name as a coordinator of that area, mm-hmm. begin to contri- collect the monthly dues. Submit your money, the money you've got every month. Mm-hmm. You have to pay mm-hmm. to the national or I don't know how they uh-huh. to pay uh, okay. Now, one thing this man discovered is at a time he discovered that even those those coordinators have realized that this is all about money. Yes, what man. are they doing? They are not, they are not when the meeting, uh, the yeah, meeting oh. the mm-hmm. money they collected. Mm-hmm. Do you understand what happened? Ah. So at the end of the day, imagine now where we are gathering money in Germany. First of all, the money has to come from staff mm. to, uh, to uh, uh, Landrasam, from Landrasam to uh, what's the what the, what the state uh, government, mm. then from states to federal. You know, mm. the amount that came from staff to invest, they would first take their own before it gets to Landrasam. Mm. Then the other person will take the, the before he gets to stay. This is how I feel. Was. So we meet this young man, realize that the whole money is no longer coming as he ex- he expected. He now opened what he introduced ESN and have one account for it. So everybody is now paying direct to ESN uh-huh. to that account. No more pay to this person. Uh-huh. Your uh, your local coordinator. Your local coordinator okay. will pay to. State coordinator, state coordinator will pay to local uh, national coordinator before it gets to Nam the That does his own is. BVN. Uh-huh. So now he introduced this ESN and said, pay direct to ESN so that he will know how much his, like, his money is now. I don't know how you people are not understanding what is going on. Now, before he went to prison, before he was arrested, now the so called DOE or DOS now it came up last week and said, now we have changed the new ESN account because it's just like they are, they have run out of idea and the next format to yeah, give to people. Yeah, now, and ESN, those ones are also using it to get their own, they, they need their own free money too. They need to yeah, pay so their mortgage. ESN now is the latest format. They, they give to Igbo people, ESN, pay in money, they are securing our land. This is the latest format. So now, the woman in America, I would praise you for that. She's so smart. Mm. Of course, if, if I had the opportunity, I would do what she's doing. 
She wants to control the money. Mm. Now, what are they doing? They first want to cut her off because mm. the money is no longer coming in. Even mm. people have got tired of paying their monthly dues. Mm. Where people want to pay in now is ESL because this was the latest format on the people. Yeah. So what they did last week was what they said they made the broadcast. They didn't even talk about the people that bought their houses in Ogun, mm. in Imo State. They have never talked about the killings going on in our uh, in Southeast. They were only interested in what accounts. Mm. We have changed accounts. ESND at the end to boost the mind of our people. He now say every ESN should go back to their base. We ha- they have work to do. Okay. It's all about lies, formats. This mm. is formats. Those who are into internet for the most about this. Mm. <laughs> this is how they do it. Now you say every year says so you go back to things mm. so that they have the duty. They have an opportunity to do as one now. Where is the duty? Which duty do they have? It's just to boost the mind of those people to believe that, oh, we just people are ready to work. They now called, he was online, online or he was live on the program. He called the account. He said the one, uh, the woman in America is handling has been dissolved, closed by. Uh, the Afara, the the, the, the in, in the prison. I wonder how he's in the prison <laughs> running his business. <laughs> Very fancy. <laughs> so you see, all this is is all about the money. Yeah. And now they 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 have they have divided. They, they are now into many groups now. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. Then, Everybody then, wants to cash out before the whole thing crashes. Everybody so. wants to cash out, and I pity those that are dying for all these things. If they can, if they, if they, if they truly really believe that people, people ask, they should sit down, analyze what is going on, and they will realize that it is all about the money. Nobody, nobody wants to, nobody, most of them don't even, they can't even work anymore. Hmm. Save their ages. Imagine where you don't work every day and you get paid just for sitting down on the road. Mm. I'm not talking. Imagine when you are being paid for doing this thing. Like this. Of course, it will motivate you. Yeah. Look at the one in, in France or Italy, they call them what they are. 24 hours, he's online. Oh. She's doing nothing. She can't do anything. Hmm. She was a former street hawker, a prostitute, a former street hawker. Until she realized that even people, wow, they, they are too emotional. Mm. Just mention them one, they kind of, and the money will be contributed. She left her street hawking, uh, sex hawking, she got into IPOB. 24 hours, she is online. This kind of person, do you think she can work anymore? She can't. Do you think she can still do her prostitution? Because she's already, uh, 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 like, how, how do you call it, uh, 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 someone, uh, a well-known someone. So she would never pray for this to end. Well, I don't know when, when, when they are, when you talk about prostitution and a woman, mm, my 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 aunt no day dear. <laughs> yeah, but no, 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 no. When I when I say something, I, I'm hundred percent sure yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's not that I'm not trying to make the situation. I'm not trying to make out uh, mm. talks on this. This reality. Okay. So yeah. all these things now. It hurts me so much because those at home are dying for this scam. Yeah. This is a total scam. Look at what is going on. Like I told them, one day I was calling into the program of food, this uh, Kulola or what. I said, Kulola, if these guys are truly genuine in what they are doing, mm. why are they rejecting this political means? Why is it that every time you talk about join, creating a, a political party, trying to win both local and state government and send the Senate, at least from there, there won't be shootings anymore. People will be there to speak for you. Mm. They said, you know, why did they reject this? Because it's all about scam. Once these people be goes to the cinema, once well, they elect someone who will speak to them on the cinema, there is no need for all this online yeah. noise making. And there is yeah. no need to contribute yeah. anymore. Yeah. Because the job is already there. They are already doing the job in, yeah. the, cinema, yeah. in the house of the cinema. Yeah. Yeah. So they don't want this. That's why anybody that wakes up to say, can we form a political party? They'll come for you. And the people who are there, they are controlling, don't even understand why these people always reject political solution. And they think these people are living their way. Yeah, it's yeah. all about the money, this car. Yeah. For the political party, let the people elect. Okay, now, imagine where IPO will say, this is who we will vote for. Of course, they will, the person will win with the high margin. Yeah. You can't read it. Yeah. Why are they not doing it? Yeah. Because once they have someone who will be there speaking for them, there is no need to contribute money. There is no need for contribution. And he can't be blowing hot on uh, 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 as a policy. No, 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 no
What they want is every day they are right. Because every time ESM, ESM, pay in money. At the end of the month, they share it among themselves. The same people are crying for the economy of Hugo Land. I, I, like I always ask them, if you people love this Hugo Land so much, can you just point out one, one good thing you have invested in this Hugo Land mm. that you love so much? Uh, with all okay. the funds that you had the opportunity to gather. Yeah. Okay, look at how much, uh, look at the amount of money. If you listen to their programs, you begin to hear the amount of money they spend at mm. one million uh, dollars, five hundred thousand dollars. Well, you know how much this is? Mm. If, with this money, we can set up, we can create companies that can employ our youth. But the, why are you people not doing this? Every day they are contributing. For what exactly? Why are you people contributing? Why are they contributing this amount no of money to you? No single community you are project. You, are, you don't have any show of it where you are spending this money on. The, the latest one, the one that is always online with flowers, with his with his head, the head tie like Indian. Mm. What's his name? The <laughs> Master uh, Profit. <laughs> Master Profit. <laughs> Listen, I, I, I'm beginning to. I wouldn't be. I wouldn't be sure of what I'm saying, but it's like it's, I'm beginning to su- suspect that these guys we are monthly pay. Yeah, of course. Their brother, you know, you know the thing is, they they are accusing in and saying where is the money, as if she she's going to be acting on the money without the uh, control of Onye Mbuha, because they are causing. Is his mother's sister, so she's holding money, and uh, uh, Kano had uh, direct access to the money, so she is just giving them the money how they want. That's how they are living life without doing any work. All of them. All of them. them. Now that the money is no more, uh, uh, you understand. Even um, Kano's uh, mother-in-law died and was being buried. There was no noise about it. Nobody even know. She was just buried. Uh, you know because no, they have moved on. No, no money, yeah, no I fund. You know. You know. You know. The first time, the first time they arrested him, Nandi, the family members came out in, in, in with full force, trying to secure the whole. You know, the new assets and all these things. Yeah, because they, they know they that fought, uh, they, yeah, fought, they couldn't win. They know it's going to be a long way home. Now, yeah. like Ijele said that, okay, not Ijele, who said so? It was uh, the one in Odenburg. He said, Master Profit have gotten a new job. And it's like he's true because he doesn't come from life anymore. Yeah, right. <laughs> you know how work you know how now. When you finish work, uh, you are tired. You want to sleep. You can't be online. And, uh, you know, it, it's also possible that um, uh, maybe uh, you know all this time he has been online and not doing anything. He ha- maybe he has also been on social. He has to pay back some money. You know how it is now. Um, because when you begin to you know, let me, let's, let's assume normally if you are in Germany, you after some uh, you can just be here without working. Yeah. At least somehow you must be receiving salary. Yeah. I'm still suspecting that this guy is on that payroll. Yeah, the, yeah, you will be money, you will be receiving money in the name of like doing like internet business. work. These guys yeah. are being paid. Yeah, since it's a registered business, they are being paid and the taxes are being paid on their behalf. They don't sit at home and talk. Yeah. Now the money is no longer coming. They are not going back to their work, trying to get a job to do. Um, actually, the problem is, you know, the problem is actually the richer, richer, because when I was looking into their b- um, um, business in, um, you know, uh, in company house, they are not even remitting taxes. So because of that, they have to keep changing the company name. So you hear uh, IPOB International, IPOB Worldwide, IPOB, you know, because they, you understand me. They don't want to have it in one place so that they accumulate the funds. So um, they are not even paying taxes. So when the the time for to pay taxes, they will go and remit and say they did not make anything. You know, they give a very 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 <laughs> uh, minimum uh, account. You know that it's not supposed to pay anything. Yeah, at the end and the of the year, their pocket up. was, uh, was yeah. I think was two euro. Two do- two pounds <laughs> in a whole fiscal year. Who does that? And so they will not close that one and then they open re- with a new name you know so there was a time i was actually following that up and i was posting the different names of the company as they registered it but i don't know for some reason our people just don't want to look in and you know the politicians are are, are using this thing to distract them they you know they will say they should forget about their differences and will come together and work hard work hard for what as okay. what work hard Bless in what done. sense Bless Bless done. Done. sorry for taking your time you know, some days ago, 
the, I think it was on your last program, you played a video, a, 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 a speech by Soludo. I, mm. didn't, I, I couldn't even know the year. So this is, was the year he met that it was, video, I think it was 2017, speech. yeah. Soludo actually said something. He said, look, some of you politicians supporting this guy, you are hoping to use them for your own political gain. But be rest assured that one day they will go, they will grow beyond your yeah. control. Yeah. And we will be in a serious problem. Yeah. I think that is what is happening of now. Of course. Can someone, uh, I, be, I asked someone yesterday, I said, where is any Naya Iberipe? Uh, he has gone out. Remember, this guy was the, the German spokesman. He was thinking that he will use them when election, when he gets yeah. to election. Now, it was an state election. Yeah. He came out, he began to talk. He First of all, he went for a political party a, a campaign. They booed him there. Mm -hmm. his, his, his senses are now beginning to come back. Like, I think these guys have, have grown. Yeah. After he was hoping that he would convince them to vote for PDP, but at the end, people came out and voted massively for Apuga. Hmm. Now it's like any nobody that have realized that I think I was I am moving in the wrong direction because I can't control these guys anymore. Yeah, remember it was still the same any nobody that convinced the DOK or DOE <laughs> or DOS for them to cancel that election uh, 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 ban they gave. Uh. You, uh, you, uh, this is, is, is real. Uh. Because at the, I was I sat on my own, I began to think about it, that the, who would they take this order from, if not in Naya I don't know, but I, what I don't understand... Not, I, I cannot, I'm not saying a fact, but I'm yeah. not saying a fact, but I'm yeah. telling you when you begin to read, summarize yeah. and yeah. you begin to analyze... Yeah, I, I, I get what you're saying. You will, you will yeah. accept with me that the instruction came from any Naya Baribe. After he tried to use them, he couldn't use them. Now he has gone mute. Nobody is hearing about any Naya Baribe anymore. Yeah. This is the this is the evil land of today. We yeah. keep going, we will keep seeing what is going on and how it goes. But my biggest happiness is that those who want to learn should yeah. learn. Yeah. Those who think they are smart. Of course, we'll see what is going on now and realize that it's all about the money. Yeah. Those that have attached so much emotion on this Biafra program, I think this is the people that I don't know how they will liberate them. I don't know. Because I know. most people, most people cannot no longer come back to say, it's just like going back to say, is it a, a blessed them. Really, you were right. Mm. I, I was, I was deceived. Yeah. The, the hardest thing for an evil man mm. in this life is for him to believe that he was deceived. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> when you when you do no, a no, Yoruba man, no, not only an evil attacked, man, generally. He was, he was deceived. He was deceived. Yeah. When you deceive and do an awesome man, he will accept. But when you do it to an evil man, he will never accept. He will find a way to cover it up because evil man doesn't accept that as smart as he, as he is, he can be duped. And this is what is happening in IPOB. Most of them can no longer accept the fact that truly these people are what deceived. Yeah. That's why now most of them are like with one leg there and the other leg they couldn't throw it to. <laughs> they, they couldn't give each other and there's that one and blessed on the other leg. Because this is like a shame to them. But I pray that one day they will, they will pick up this courage and accept that they were really deceived. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Good night. Yeah. 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 So in closing, I think that what is happening to our people is what I already explained in another video, what I call the sun cost law. So it's like when you have invested something so much, so much emotion, so much time, so much energy, and uh, even though you are seeing, you know, that this thing is not going, somehow there's a, some kind of hope that... So all this, my investment, everything I've put into this is not going to be a waste. There has to be somehow, 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 something to come out of it, you know. Yeah, that's what this, uh, you do. <laughs> so my people, I just want to make it uh, come to a close here. Biafra is a never land. Never land. It has no people, has no physical space, has no language, has no value system nothing 
is a Neverland, never going to come. Hmm? Idu is a new format, like our brother said. It's nothing other than a scam, a new format to get your money, to waste your life, to deceive you. It's, that's what it is. But do you know what is and what has always been, what has always been constant is Igbo, Ndi Igbo, Igbo land, Ali Igbo, Ndi Igbo. That has always been and this will be. Use it. Build your Igbo land. It's your physical space that your ancestors bequeathed to you. Don't complain about every other place and don't want to look into your own place. No. You have that space. Use it. Igbo language. You have the language. Build it up. Develop it. Teach it. Write in it. Develop the language so that you can even teach sciences in need. So that people will understand it better. So that people can use it to create something. Yes, you have the land. You have the language. You have the value system. There are value systems that has been laid down. You can build on it. You can develop it. You can remove the things that are not working. You can put new ones. Yes, you can do it. These are the things that you have. Stop looking for what is not lost. You are free. Don't uh, let anybody say that you are not in free, that you are fighting for. No, you are free. You saw those ones that were released that day. You saw them now thanking God for their freedom. So I hope they realize the freedom that they have. And I hope you realize the freedom that you have. You have the freedom to move around. In Nigeria, you have the freedom to move around. In Igbo land, you have the freedom to marry anybody of your choice you have the freedom to live anywhere in nigeria you have the freedom to do your trade you have the freedom to go to any school in nigeria you are free you are free nobody is holding you nobody is holding you if you go to lagos and things are not going well you are always free to go back to your village your village is a constant it's there so don't allow these people to confuse you so that you lose this physical space if you lose this physical space this is which is what they are they are doing without knowing it bringing conflict again to this region bringing co mega conflict to this region so that the people will be finished and so the people will be displaced and you will lose this physical space maybe then you will not start fighting for your new jerusalem you know but now you have it guide it jealously not everybody has it not everybody have a physical space on the face of this earth that they can call their own but you have it so what are you looking for you you don't supposed to look for any other thing yeah you don't supposed to look for any other thing evil is enough being evil is enough being evil is enough you don't have to be any other thing other than evil you are evil first. Nigeria did not stop you from being evil. Nigeria does not stop you from practicing any evil culture, any evil value system. Nigeria did not disturb you from learning Igbo language. In fact, Nigeria took Igbo language as one of the three major languages and it is taught in school. There's a, an examination for it across West Africa and people write Igbo language as an exam. It's a subject. People can go to university and study Igbo language. What is the problem with you guys? Come home to yourself, my people. Enough is enough. This he do that the whole world is shaking. Nobody is shaking. The shake no pass this one while I sit down for my chair, they dance. Now lie, there is no shaking anywhere. It's only that her mouth that is shaking. Nothing. Nobody here about Idu, Ido, Idu Mota, Idu Mibu, Idu Mibo. No. All those things are rubbish. You are not Ubo, you are Igbo. You are Ndi Igbo. Take it and, and live with it. Stop running in circles. Eh? I know that uh, some people will come at me and say, eh, you just hate evil people. Eh, look at the people that love you. Look at the thing that they are doing with you. They want to confuse you, deceive you, kill you, rob you. Is that love? Is that love? Me, I did not take anything from you. I'm just telling you, guide your life. Guide the space that you have. You know, 
develop your language otherwise you will lose your tongue even you will lose the tongue and uh, in, in maybe in 50 years there will be nobody speaking Igbo then you have lost the tongue and so uh, maybe in another hundred years uh, when your children come out they are speaking English they say uh, uh, what is your own language they say yeah, we speak English they say, yeah, but you, what is your own original talk and uh, we don't have any original tongue we only speak English so they will say oh so you people were animals before uh, you were taught English uh, you didn't have it. you couldn't you didn't develop any language so which means you are not even human so, uh, we have to come and teach you English so that you can speak you see so it's a very dangerous trend. So my people, if do is useless, if do like Biafra has no language, has no space, has nothing to offer you. So everything you have, you have, you can do it in Igbo. You can do it with your Igbo language. You can do it with your Igbo physical space that you call a Libo. And you can go from there. You can develop it. You can do anything you want with it. You know, you can add to it. You can add to it. You can uh, 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 enlarge your cost even. You know, if you do well, like somebody was saying, like if we can do well and uh, and show the the world what we can do with our region, you know, it, it's a pointer to you know how we can transfer what we have done. The, to the center, you know, but you don't come on empty stomach and be boasting about the, how good you can cook, uh, how how well you can feed, all those kind of things. It doesn't make sense. Anyway, I don't want to talk beyond this point. It's almost two hours. So, my people, I thank you so much for, you know, abiding with me up till this time. And I hope that I'll be able to come up online again, at least once again on Sunday or over the weekend. And I'll see you very soon in another video. Bye for now. Bye.